Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Um, and if you're not having a good day, I pray that this message will bless you and that you will be encouraged and that you will be strengthened because we all need strength. We all need help at times and we all need to be encouraged at times. So I pray that this video will do that for you. I have just a couple things today that I want to touch on. And um, please feel free if you have any comments or questions, then let me know in the comment section. I always love to hear from everyone. I love to receive comments. I love receiving emails. I love to hear how your personal life is going because I truly do care. And um, I count it as is an honor and I'm grateful that the Lord allows me to speak to you directly into your life and I always pray for everyone and I always just pray that the Lord will continue to speak through me that will I will have something that um, not only is needed to that you need to hear but that is needed to be said that the Lord will use me in that way so please feel free I always leave the email in the description box as well so Okay, now to the word. Um, the first, well, I have two things to say. The first one is kind of a pro, it is not kind of, it is a prophetic word to share with you. And the second one is kind of just to um, kind of touch back on this, the video that I previously did about the breakthrough and about signs. Um, but first, let's get to the prophetic word. So a couple days ago, I was led to just go stand outside. And as I did in our backyard, we have lots of lots of trees and a lot of greenery everywhere. And the wind was kind of blowing and I just really felt the presence of God. And as I felt the presence of the Lord in that moment, then I heard the spirit say, block out all other noise. And so as I received that word, then it's like in that moment, all, it was quiet. It was it was like super quiet outside and it was like I could really be in tune and just feel the presence of God in that moment. And the Lord was saying that that's how we have to do with him. We have to block out all other noise, whether it is by us literally having that moment that, that we take and that we say, okay, God, I'm going to spend this time with you. Or, um, you know, and remember the time with God, that alone time with God can be where, wherever, whenever, however you need it to be. So it can be literally you're at, you're at the park, you're outside in your backyard, you're in your bedroom, you're in your office, you're in the bathroom, wherever it, it may, may be. It, it, that doesn't matter because you're saying, God, I want to hear from you. I want to block out everything else. I want to block out all other noise and I want to just receive from you. So we all have to deliberately take that time and say, God, I want to hear from you. And the other thing in that moment, I was actually cleaning when I felt the unction, I felt the impression, I felt the guidance and the leading to just go stand outside, just to stand there for the moment. And when I did, then that was when the presence of the Lord was there. The Lord met me there. So I had to get in position. I had to be in that place to receive what the Lord already had there for me. You know, sometimes we think, is, is going to take so long or it's so hard to, to, to receive the presence of God, to feel his presence and his spirit. We know the presence of God is around us all the time, but we have to be open. We have to be available. We have to make ourselves available to God so that we can truly receive everything that he has for us. And so that may mean, like I said, you deliberately taking those moments I don't care if it's five minutes. I don't care if it's two minutes just to be with God and to say, I'm blocking out everything else. And sometimes, yes, it has to be that intentional that we don't just say, um, you know, kind of haphazardly, oh, I'm not listening to nothing else. No, literally, sometimes you have to intentionally block out all other noise. So that may that may mean a literal blocking out, be in a place of stillness and quiet. And it also can refer to blocking out all other noise in the sense of remember, noise can be 
the noise of your family, the noise of media, the noise of your ego, the noise of friends, the noise of people in your life who are saying anything that is contrary to what the Lord has already spoken to you. That is the noise that we have to block out. Um, there's a scripture that says, my sheep know my voice. A stranger's voice they do not hear. So we have to be at that place where we are we are the sheep, the Lord is our shepherd. And so we have to be in that place where we say, okay, I'm listening and I'm in tune with the voice of the Lord and I'm blocking out all strangers' voices, all of the voices that are strange to what the Lord has said. Anything that is contrary to what the Lord has spoken unto me, I am blocking it out, I'm letting it go, and I'm moving it to the side. And I am being with God. Not only am I in the presence of the Lord, and I'm still before the Lord, but I am mentally just there with God. It's me and God walking this thing out. It's me and God moving forward in life. It's me and God on this journey. It is God leading me. It is God guiding me into every next best step. So you have to learn to block out all other noise. That is the only way that we can really um, fruitfully, productively, successfully go to the next stage that not only do you want to go to but that the Lord is trying to take you to and you know just in that moment as it was still and then it was quiet and I could feel the presence of God then that's how we want to always be with the Lord of course we know and that's really what it means when it says you know you want to pray without ceasing you know, no, that doesn't mean that we're, we're, we're walking around literally saying prayers all day, every day. It means that our life is a prayer unto God. It means that we are in tune and in communion with the Lord all the time. That we're not just bystanders here in this walk, in this relationship. No, we want to experience the fullness of the Lord. And the only way that we can do that is by blocking out all other noise and by truly depending on God. The Lord says, the scripture says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. And so that can even reference being in want of wanting to hear from the Lord. I, I see a lot of your comments and you say, you know, you want to hear from God or that you want to become closer to God or, or you know, you, you want this relationship with the Lord. Well, those wants will be fulfilled because he says you won't be in want anymore. And the only way that we can do that is we have to do our part by, again, making ourselves readily available to the voice of God, readily available to hear what he has to say and block out all other noise. Don't continue to allow the chatter of your mind, the chatter of the enemy, the chatter of your friends to dictate your steps when God has already ordered your steps. Allow the steps that the Lord has ordered for you that you walk them out. Allow them to be part of your life, part of your daily routine that you walk it out with God. Now, let's get into the second portion of this video. It's pretty quick. And that is, I just wanted to kind of touch on again about the significance of signs. So in the previous video, if you didn't watch it, I'll put it in the description. And it basically was saying my personal encounters that I have had with the Lord showing me different signs. And sometimes those signs come by way of numbers. Sometimes you may see them as 11-11, 2 um, You go to the grocery store and uh, or you order some food and your change is 5.55 or whatever the case may be. It's just the sequence of numbers that we continually see. And so th this, is the, this is the importance of that. The Lord uses any and everything. And if you are leery or you've, you know, kind of have a bad taste in your mouth about numbers, then I totally get that. But as long as we are not making the numbers our idol, we are always looking to the creator of the numbers, which is God, then you are on the right track. The Lord uses 
all things that he creates to speak to us, to give us signs, to give us um, even just encouragement, to give us guidance, to give us, you know, think of signs in, in the sense of signs on your roadway. You see a sign as you're driving and this sign lets you know steep hill up ahead. This sign over here says um, a school is up ahead. So that means you're going to have to start to watch your speed limit. The Lord uses signs as well in our life. The, the point is not to get caught up in the numbers. The point is to get caught up in God and to pay attention to what he's trying to show you. You know, we often just put aside so much stuff because we're fearful. And again, I don't say that as a judgment because I understand. And we have to be mindful. We have to be aware. We have to be watchful. But at the same time, be watchful and be aware of the Holy Spirit. Listen to what he is telling you and to what he is directing you to, what he's trying to point you um, in the direction of. So a lot of times the, 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 the numbers that you see, they're, they're merely just ways of God letting you know you're in the divine flow. You're on the right track. You're on the right path. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, I see you. I'm, I'm proud of you. You know, you, you have some encouragement from the Lord that is saying, keep going, keep doing what you've been doing. And I know some people's frustration comes with, they see signs or they see these numbers and they're like, yeah, I see them, but then nothing happens. Well, we don't know what all is happening at that time. We don't know all of the things that are being worked out on our behalf, on our, for our favor in the spiritual realm. So sometimes we have to just keep going. You may not see the full manifestation of what those numbers really meant for another year, another two years, another five years. You know, things don't happen in the timing always that we want or as quickly as we want. You know, we could see like in that example, I was seeing numbers for like two or three days and it's like, I want to see something that day that I'm seeing all of those numbers happen. Sometimes it happens like that, but oftentimes it doesn't. And so then that's why the Lord is even showing you like, keep going. I got you. You're in the right place. You're always there at the right place at the right time, meeting the right people. That's something that I always say. And so when we see the numbers, don't get too caught up. Yes, the numbers can mean something like um, the number five means grace or um, the number 10 means completion or number one means new beginnings. And yes, so sometimes the actual number means something. But then a lot of times, again, it's pointing towards something else. And also when you see those numbers or you receive from the Lord those signs, you actually feel something when you see it. It's not just like there have been times when I see 11-11 often and I'm just kind of like, oh, that's cool. That's a, that's a neat thing, you know, but there's there's not anything behind it. Um, and so we just want to be aware and pay attention to sometimes it's just, it's just what it is. It's just like, oh, okay, that's neat. But then often those are also the same numbers that God will use to grab your attention, for you to pay attention and for you to say and for you to notice, oh, okay, I am in flow with the Lord. I am exactly where I am supposed to be. I am in alignment. And that is the last point that I'm going to make is the Lord is saying oftentimes, oftentimes when you see the numbers, you feel the impression from God and it is pointing you to something else. And this is not the first time that you've seen it. Then God is saying you are in alignment. That's all that they're representing. Don't try to dive too deep into it. Don't try to worry yourself too much about it and try to figure out, well, today I saw this number and then yesterday I saw this number. What do all of these numbers mean? God, I don't get it. Well, God is saying you are in perfect alignment. So stay in alignment. And um, years ago, oh shoot, this is probably like 10 years ago, and then the Lord has showed me something and I wasn't, I, I didn't even know. I didn't know really. I mean, I understood what it meant, but now I'm starting to understand it even more and more. Um, and that was the Lord showed me this vision of a person, how when the downpour of the blessings of God come, for example, they're going to come like this. And sometimes we're off centered. 
And so the Lord was saying that you have to be in alignment. You have to be underneath the direction of the downpour in order to receive it. So sometimes when we're kind of off, we're off centered, we're, we're misaligned with things. We may get like little sprinkles of blessings or we may get, you know, the little drips of them coming down, but it's not the full downpour that the Lord wants to give to you. So sometimes when we see those synchronicities and we see those moments of, um, it could even be a, a sign on someone's car, or you see a billboard or you drive past um, I've had this happen before. I drive past someone's house or I drive past the place I've driven past before. Then maybe you see someone outside and they're doing something that was exactly what you just had a vision of someone else doing. These are just synchronicities of God showing you and letting you know that you are in alignment, that you're in that perfect position to receive the downpour that the Holy Spirit wants to give to you. Because sometimes we can't hear um the lord say it in that specific of a way you know so just like how i was mentioning about us blocking out the noise sometimes we're we're not still enough or we haven't blocked out the noise enough to truly hear from god and so then god sends us these signs and these symbols and just these confirmations that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and it's an encouragement to keep going. So don't be discouraged. If you feel like you've seen certain things, um, but you haven't seen the manifestations of them yet, or you're thinking, well, you kind of dismiss them now as they were nothing. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Don't do it. Don't, don't do that. Don't dismiss them. Receive what the Lord is showing you. And don't forget to always consult God. You consult God and you ask him, what is it that you're showing me, Lord? Because sometimes, you know, we think we may know, but the Lord is showing or revealing something new to us at that time, even in that season in our lives. So the Lord wants us to be in tune with him. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. May you continue to be richly blessed in the Lord and continue to seek his face on all things. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.